A legal fight is growing over a schoolyard built over an old landfill. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. San Diego Unified is preparing to sue the cities of La Mesa and National City to pay their part in monitoring emissions from the landfill underneath the playing field at Bell Middle School in Bay Terraces. Our Shannon Handy is working for you on this story and has more on the legal claims and the community's concerns. This is something a lot of the families around here didn't even know about. That landfill sits underneath a portion of one of the playing fields here at Bell Middle School. The municipalities of La Mesa National City used it back in the 60s. Once the campus was built, they were supposed to help clean it up and monitor it. But according to these new claims, the district says they haven't been doing their part. CBS 8 obtained the claims through a public records request. They were filed by San Diego Unified back in March. One is against National City, the other La Mesa. They both state each municipality, quote, generated, transported, disposed, and or arranged for the generation, transportation, and or disposal of the waste at or around this site, adding hazardous substances were released and continue to be released to the environment, resulting in past and ongoing contamination at and around the site. A legal claim is considered a precursor to a lawsuit. The district is seeking more than $10,000 from each city, saying the district has incurred and will continue to incur damages investigating and responding to the impacts of the waste at the site. Though the claims do not specify if the area is harmful to people's health, the fact they've been filed in the first place is causing concern. It's the part of the school where the playground is, and so it's very alarming. Francine Maxwell is the chairwoman for Black Men and Women United, which runs a pantry at the school. While she knew about the landfill, she says families at the school haven't been educated about it or the potential health risks. What do you think should happen moving forward? We should have an emergency town hall with our elected officials and have Sandag there with the maps to show people. Shane Parmalee, a longtime teacher at Bell, says she's worried as well. Our district wouldn't be going after other cities to help clean up and monitor if we didn't need cleaning up and monitoring to be happening. We took those concerns to the district by email. A spokesperson said kids and staff are safe and that, quote, there is strict monitoring we must conduct, as outlined in the landfill safety plan, to ensure the old landfill does not impact community health. Vents are located throughout the field to release methane gas from the decomposition of the waste. A flare station sits at the southeast corner of the athletic field where methane gas is burned off. According to a 2011 environmental impact report, the methane gas did not exceed current air standard levels. But in regards to water, that same report revealed, quote, volatile organic compounds were detected in the groundwater underneath Bell. And according to a 1989 Los Angeles Times article, the county closed the field in 1989 because of a methane gas leak. Maxwell wants more reassurance the public is safe, suggesting additional testing is needed and our elected officials need to get involved. We're so pleased that your station um, has taken the opportunity to educate the community, and now we're looking to our electeds to do something. Shannon Handy, CBS 8. Thanks, Shannon. Now, we did reach out to National City and La Mesa. Both had no comment. We will continue to follow up on this story. A similar lawsuit was filed by San Diego Unified against the county in 2004. In 2010, the county agreed to pay $950,000 to help monitor and clean up that landfill. For more information on that and today's story, just visit CBS8.com. And don't forget here at CBS8, we are working for you. If there's an issue you'd like us to look into, email us at workingforyou at CBS8.com.